Angel. Josh Angel. And? Dude, why don't you shut your trap for a second, big mouth, and listen up. You've been wasting a lot of our time, and quite frankly, I'm tired of it, man. So I'm here to wake you up. Kala Azawajel. Now we both know scrolling through Instagram and Facebook and checking YouTube analytics every other second is a complete waste of time. Yeah, I'm talking to you, buddy. So I got a little challenge for you, big mouth. If you complete this challenge, well, inshallah, you'll never be the same, unless you're scared. Now, if you're scared of the challenge, just go on doing what you're doing. So what do you say, big time YouTuber big mouth guy? You up for the challenge? Sure, what the heck, I ain't got nothing better to do. Bismillah, what's this life-changing challenge you got for me, compadre? To read the entire Quran in a month. That's it. Oh God, dude, what the heck, bro? Tucky love, bro, what's your prom, dude? Bro, do you like ever shut up like, even for a second here? Uh, clearly not, bro. I'm a YouTuber. Bukati 2. Oh my god, dude. That is really getting old, bro. All while being a full-time employee, full-time YouTuber. This dude is crazy. Father, but I kind of like him. Enthusiast. You know what? You're on, random dude who's oddly familiar. Alhamdulillah, coolest dude who obviously doesn't realize we're the same person. May Allah give you success for both of our sakes. Masalam. Well, looks like I have a new challenge for myself. Bismillah. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Guys, Josh here, back with another video. As you've seen in the intro, I am challenging myself to read the Quran and Bukhari in one month. Now, you might be asking yourself, Josh, why would you do this? Well, it's pretty simple, guys. I have five intentions with regards to this challenge. Number one is doing a digital detox. I constantly find myself scrolling through Facebook, Instagram, YouTube analytics, and I don't even know how I got there. So I know that I'm wasting a ton of time doing useless things, right? So cutting that out, I'm gonna do a digital detox. Number two is that I wanna build a stronger connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his Rasul alayhi salatu salam. Many of us, we say, Yanni, we're on the sunnah, we're on the sunnah. Dude, it's much more than having a beard, having your pants above your ankles, wearing niqab, etc. There's so much of the sunnah that we are either not practicing because we either forgot or we're simply not even aware that that's actual sunnah. So that's another reason. Number three is because I want to prove to you guys, which is my entire mission of this channel, that you can have an uncompromised, unapologetic practice of your deen without sacrificing your dunya and vice versa. Number four is that I'm going to create a new threshold for myself. And what I mean by that is when I first got into weightlifting, I was 125 pounds. Once I got serious, I got up to 160 pounds. And now even if I don't eat right, I still hover over 155 pounds around that area. And that's because I created a new threshold for myself. The same thing applies when you try to create any new habit. So by going hard for 30 days and completing both Bukhari and Muslim, which is 2,236 2, hadith, which is approximately 75 a day, plus a Jews a day, and still being a full-time employee, YouTuber, husband, father, gym enthusiast, etc., I've created a new threshold for myself so that once this 30 days is over, inshallah, I'm never gonna go back to just not even touching the hadith or the Quran. A day's not gonna pass, inshallah, because I've built this new habit. And number five is obviously because I wanna sharpen my Arabic, both in its recitation, its understanding, and just comprehending and, comprehending and being more familiar with Arabic words. So guys, those are the five intentions that I have. Of course, I'm gonna take you along my journey, share my real transparent experience, as well as any unforeseen consequences or you know things that take place any challenges that take place that were unforeseen as well as share my experience at the very end anything any benefits and res any results that i didn't expect and also if i recommend it to you so with that being said guys jazakallah khairan let's get in the video all right guys here we are day one of my 30-day quran and bukhari challenge because dude 
People read the Quran once a month in Ramadan, but what about Bukhari, bro? We're taking it to the next level. Now, I have to read 74 hadith a day to complete this challenge on top of reading the Jews a day. So your boy, he's got some pressure on him, but he's gonna come through inshallah because December 3rd is when this video is going live. Dude, I have from November 1st today to the 30th to complete this challenge. I am not finna let you guys down. And to prove that it is in fact November 1st, check this out. There you go, guys, full transparency. It says, what's today, Google? November 1st, 2020. Sunday, baby. SubhanAllah, guys. Parkinson's law, dude. I gave myself an hour to complete the first Jews and I had about two minutes to spare, which is great because it's friggin' cold out here, dude. I'm freezing my chicken legs off, my little, my little scrawny legs. They never seem to grow no matter how much I work out, man. But anyways, alhamdulillah, that's completed. About to go pray Asr, inshallah, zawajo. And then I'm gonna hit this 73 and a half hadith. Dude, my eyes are burning. <laughs> that is the last to be. Day one is in the books. Dude, your boy is smoked. It's late. I definitely need to like chop this up. You know what I'm saying? I can't be doing all of this in one, one go. I definitely need to like break it down, man. Inshallah, day one is complete. See you tomorrow. Here we are guys, day three, and your boy is just reading some Bukhari in between sets, man, in between the, the rest periods. I uh, just maximize my time, man. Here we are going for a heavy single. I think that's about 290 pounds. Yep, relatively easy, guys. Crushing the day. <laughs> Alhamdulillah guys, Jews 3 in the books man, Alhamdulillah. Uh, if you noticed, uh, firstly made great timing, it's only about 6 o'clock and yesterday I finished at 8 o'clock so I'm really Alhamdulillah uh, making progress in terms of time and how, much, how long it takes me to actually complete uh, this challenge every day. Alhamdulillah, if you noticed in the previous scene, I'm actually reading Hadith first thing in the morning. I decided because that's the most challenging thing for me because I'm unfamiliar with a lot of the words in the Hadith that I decided that I'm going to attack that first thing in the morning, which is a principle that I live by, and that is that you always attack the most challenging, most difficult thing first thing in the morning, which is why I work out. So Alhamdulillah for that, uh, by the end of the workout, for the most part, I actually completed my 75 Hadith for the most part, just in between my work, uh, uh, my working sets, uh, the, the, the rest times. So Alhamdulillah guys, uh, day three is in the book. See you tomorrow. So day four did not go according to plan. It's like five o'clock in the morning, so I gotta whisper. But uh, it didn't go according to plan. Woke up, normal time, you know, three o'clock in the morning, y'all know my routine. And uh, I got this new toy right here. It's a new Zion Smooth 4 gimbal. I was testing it out trying to learn it, see how I can, you know, use it to uh, take this channel to the next level. And I'm consuming so much of my time that I barely got to read anything from Bukhari or the Quran. And then my, my wife needed some help filming some gimbal shots. So on my breaks, I was helping film on her videos. So needless to say, I only got to read like maybe, I don't know, 30, 40 hadith, something like that. Didn't even get to touch the Quran. I was so tired by six o'clock, I was like, man, I'm gonna take a 30 minute nap. Six hours later, I wake up and I'm like, oh my God, dude. I wound up scrolling through Instagram, watching powerlifting videos. <laughs> so needless to say, day four did not go according to plan. But we're gonna get back on it, man. I'm just gonna have to crunch, you know, lock it down. And uh, I wanted to show you guys something really quick. This is absolutely amazing, man. I honestly can't believe it, but this is what I just woke up to this morning. I don't know if you guys can see that. 1,000 subscribers, man. Alhamdulillah, we finally hit that first milestone. 1K, baby. 
It's a beautiful number. It's so beautiful, mashallah. Jazakallah khair to everyone that supports this channel. Inshallah, this is just the beginning. Y'all are my OG fans. When we get to that first 100,000, that first mil, that first five mil, inshallah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, y'all inshallah will still be with me. And uh, we're going to take this thing to the next level. That being said, guys, I got to get some reading done. Oh, subhanAllah, guys. I had to read two Jews today. I had to read basically 150 hadith. Work a 10 hour shift, but Alhamdulillah, your boy is back on track. So, Alhamdulillah, I read all of that. Released a new video today with Alhamdulillah. Recorded another video which is going live tomorrow, inshallah. This one right here. Recorded that on my lunch break. So, Alhamdulillah, man. I've gotten all this done and uh, ready to go smoke tomorrow's workout, inshallah. Day five, it's in the book. Dude. Here we are, officially one week into this challenge. Your boy, still trying to wake up. But man, yesterday was Juma, and uh, I got a lot done, man. Woke up, you know, 3.30 in the morning, went and crushed a crazy workout, man. I hit a um, uh, two count pause squat, and also uh, 220 pounds on the floor press, which 220 pounds, 210 pounds was the heaviest uh, weight I've ever held in my hand. Then I hit two, 20 but you see they're out struggling man and that was definitely not a um, an rp8 but man 205 or whatever it was it, it flew up so quick which i'm sure you guys have already watched that video that um i was like man let me just jump to 220 nope <laughs> but uh so you know alhamdulillah i went to jumwa filmed as you see here you know what i'm saying alhamdulillah like i i, I was filming alhamdulillah made today great like i always say but man by 2 30 bro Oscar time i was smoked man and uh, I actually had to go get my oil change and I actually wound up knocking out in their lazy boy they came and woke me up I went to a brother's shop and they're like Moaz which is you know a lot of people call me Moaz I know I don't think you guys know that but uh, a lot of people call me Mo Moaz man and uh, they're like bro you know wake up oil change is done I'm like Spam, man. I knock out bro so you know this challenge man uh, I, I hummed a lot I finished completed uh, all of the hadith um, and I got uh, at about 65 I uh, left when I knocked out last night so I got a got some making up to do now you might think to yourself man this challenge is too difficult man you, you can't bounce it all and what I look at it how I look at it guys is that it's amazing how I can still do YouTube I can still go to Juma fulfill all my obligations and still somehow managed to read 75 hadith and Allahu alam how many I from the Quran man even if I was 60 short or 65 short dude to be able to accomplish all of that shoot music did I, sh did I shoot music videos That's, like I said I'm still trying to wake up dude but you know what I'm saying shoot videos and do all these things man and I'm still able to read all of this man uh, that's how I look at it. I'm like, this is awesome. Even if I come up short, man, I'm still looking at it. Dude, that's great. I'm still reading 75 hadith a day, bro. You know, it's amazing. So, with that being said, guys, I have like less than an hour before I gotta take the missus to work and start filming some more after this. So, I'll see you guys then. <laughs> والذين كفروا وكذبوا بآياتنا أولئك أصحاب الجحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا تحرموا شيئا ما أهل ما أهل الله لكم ولا تأتدوا إن الله لا يحب المؤتدين. سبحان الله guys. Your boy has been reading, has been in these books since about four o'clock this morning. It's now close to three o'clock, if not already three o'clock. Asr just came in. And subhanAllah, if you guys are like, Yaki, you're only on juice seven. It's day 11. What's going on, man? Well, subhanAllah, guys, I've been sick for the last couple days. It's not COVID, inshallah. It's just, man, just been running hard, bro. The last couple days. Uh, on top of that, without going into detail, uh, COVID has recently impacted my job. 
Um, so your boy has gone into beast mode, savage mode, recording as many videos as I possibly can because I don't know what my future schedule is going to look like, uh, inshallah, when I have to get a new job. And I do not intend on letting you guys down anytime soon, inshallah. I've never missed an upload, wallahi alhamd, I've never missed a single upload since I started this YouTube channel. And I don't intend to, inshallah, nor do I want the quality of my videos to decrease in any way whatsoever. So your boy went halal ham <laughs> recording these videos, man, and obviously that takes a lot of my time. And so I'm about five days or so behind in terms of recording videos, editing videos, and uh, you know being sick the last couple of days. And uh, so I'm like five days behind. I'm supposed to be at like 888 hadith um, by the end of today. And I just uh, finished, what's it, like 710 or something like that. I'm at 710, so still got a ways to go. And uh, obviously, I'm only on, subhanAllah, like, yeah, Jews, uh, Jew, uh, part seven, and it's Matt, he does still. So, definitely, definitely behind, man, but inshallah, you know, I'm really striving to get back on track. Um, inshallah, guys, I'm not going to let you down. I'm not going to let myself down. I committed to this challenge, and I, I, I mean, I'm going to give it to the, I'm going to give my very best, man, to the very end, inshallah. If I don't complete it, you know, the Qadr Allah Shafa. But uh, I, I fully intend to give a good, good fight, and I'm not backing down, inshallah. So day 11, man, still have a long ways to go before I can catch back up and uh, get back to where I need to be to be on track every day. But inshallah, we're going to make it happen. Bismillah. All right, guys, here we are officially day 17 of this 30-day challenge, guys. I'm blowing off some steam because, man, quite honestly, dude, I've been very frustrated. Uh, for the last few hours man um this challenge has been incredibly challenging go figure right uh, obviously like i said in the previous scene or however many scenes back yanni i had to uh take a f nearly five days off from this challenge because content is my number one priority for you guys right delivering content to you guys is my number one priority and due to the the situation with my job you know what I'm saying? I wasn't fitting to let anything get in, uh, get in the way of that, inshallah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so, because I took those few days, it just went halal ham, you know what I'm saying, beast mode. Uh, I did get a cold for a couple of days, and I just couldn't focus, couldn't read. My head was pounding, throbbing, and uh, you know, it is what it is. I got a winner's mindset, alhamdulillah. I got a champion's mindset, alhamdulillah. And uh, I, I actually was able to, despite, you know, the life goes on, right? You know, uh still having a job still doing the gym still making videos still being a you know what i'm saying a dad and a husband all those things and uh life goes on but alhamdulillah i was able to finally catch up on the uh the quran alhamdulillah i'm i'm back to where i need to be but the hadith man i'm like 300 plus hadith away and um yeah and i was very frustrated this morning like just really feeling defeated overwhelmed and like, man, I, I don't even know if I even want to continue doing this. You know what I mean? Like, it's just frustrating me so much and it's bringing me so much anxiety. And, um, you know, ideally in a, an ideal situation, again, the, the challenge isn't to read as much as you can within 30 days. The challenge is to be, uh, you know what I'm saying, consistent. Meaning you only read a Jews a day and you only read 74 to 75 Hadith a day, however you want to do it. You know what I'm saying? So that you're consistent. But in order for me to complete this challenge, guys, what I'm going to have to do is what I've decided, inshallah, I'm going to get ahead. I need to, man. If I want to complete this challenge, man, I'm going to have to get ahead on the Jews by like a day or two. And just give me some wiggle room so that I can just focus and hammer out uh, these Hadith, man. Because it's, you know, the font is small. It hurts my eyes to read. Uh, sometimes I get headaches from it. Uh, the, I'm not familiar with all the words. So all those things combined, man, I'm fatigued, you know, I'm working a full-time job, all these different things going on in my life, you know, just the stresses of life. And, uh, but I don't want to fall short, man. And again, I have a winner's mindset, a champion's mindset. So inshallah, hopefully you guys can forgive me. Bidni Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's what I'm going to do, man. I'm going to knock out a few Jews extra, get a couple days ahead, inshallah. And then, uh, you know, saying catch up on these hadith and then get back to the regular routine of one Jews a day, 
75 hadith a day, inshallah. Bismillah. Alright, you wanna see what I just did? Bullseye, man. I, you know I say bullseye, baby, but y'all never actually see it. So let's see what if I got a bullseye. Let's check this out. Bismillah. There it is, man. Alright, day 17. All right, guys, here we are, day 23. Not even sure if it's in focus right now. It's about 3.57 in the morning. Your boy is heading to the gym as usual to get some gains. And dude, man, yesterday at around, so Saturday morning, sorry, Sunday morning, today's Monday. Sunday morning around 1.30 in the morning, I was violently and abruptly woken up out of my sleep with food poisoning boy got food poisoning and if anyone knows anything about food poisoning it's not fun so from about 1 30 up until 5 30 basically right when Frederick came in I was very 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 sick man and subhanAllah guys the, I spent the rest of the day Sunday just trying to recover I was basically bedridden <laughs> you know for the rest of the day and just trying to just trying to get back to you know 100% man so needless to say alhamdulillah I completed my juice uh, for the day but I only got about I don't know 10 or so plus hadith bread man because I, I was just feeling so terrible guys I just I, I couldn't focus man I just couldn't focus so here we are, day 23, one week left in this challenge, and man, it's just, it's become so overwhelming with the, with the Hadith man, trying to complete 75 every single day, uh, with just the different stresses and the things with uh, my job, and you know, I'm always, uh, you know, trying to adapt and, and, and overcome, but I just keep, you know, running into problems, man, and it just, I just keep getting further and further and further behind, um, so... I'm not really sure what's gonna happen. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna be able to complete this challenge uh, the way that I intended. But again, man, we're just gonna put our best effort forward and uh, hopefully we come out on top. It, to me, it's a win either way, even if I don't. And I'll explain more of that probably on day 30 or you know before this goes live. All right, dude, 23, day 23. Let's go get some gains. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <laughs> أعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر عاصقين ذا وقاب ومن شر النفاثات في اللقد ومن شر حاسد إذا حساد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس له الناس من شر وسواس الخناس الذي وسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس 30 days guys الحمد لله first time I ever read the entire Quran in Arabic in my entire life guys I've always read it in English alhamdulillah that's a major milestone a major accomplishment for me alhamdulillah I hope Allah accepts it from me first time ever reading the entire Quran in Arabic and outside of Ramadan Allahu Akbar Anil Bara'i radiallahu anhu qala haddathani ashab muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ممن شهد بدرا إدى أصحاب الطالوت الذين جازوا مع النحارة بدعة أشرة وثلاثمة وثلاث استفروا وث وثلاث هذا مش جيم أنا والله ما جواز مع النحارة إلا المؤمن Guys, 601 hadith. I did not complete the challenge, unfortunately, guys. 
Uh, too many unexpected setbacks. Um, no, no excuses, man. I didn't complete the challenge. I, I gave it a great effort, but it wasn't enough. It came up short. But at the, at the end of the day, guys, that's 1,601 Hadith more than I read last month, two months ago, three months ago, six months ago, my entire life ago. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, alhamdulillah, guys, that's still 1,600 Hadith. A whole, you know, the entire Quran, alhamdulillah. Is this not crazy? I know it's crazy. I'm like, yeah, what are you doing? Dude, it started snowing. This is nuts. I figured, why not freeze my chicken legs off like I talked about at the beginning of the video. Why not end it by chicken my, my chicken, by freezing my chicken legs off one more time, inshallah. <laughs> this is crazy, man. Um, and I just think it's beautiful, it's gorgeous. And uh, it reminds me of home, man. It reminds, it reminds me of Wisconsin. But like I said, guys, alhamdulillah, I completed the entire Quran. That's amazing. I completed every single intention that I had for this challenge, guys. Alhamdulillah, everything that I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I accomplished, walilah alhamd, and then some, which I'm about to talk to you about right now. So guys, I'm gonna share with you five benefits that I was not expecting, things that I realized, things that happened to me, that I believe are directly in correlation in relation to this challenge. Number one is that I got more buttaka in my time, guys. I just literally felt like I got more accomplished in less time. Like I just got more buttaka in my time outside of reading Quran and Hadith. Alhamdulillah, guys, today, November 30th, I did what? I did, I completed the Quran, alhamdulillah, 1600 Hadith. I did a live stream this morning. I connected with you guys. In addition to a live stream, alhamdulillah, I released a brand new video, my darkest hour, the, you know, the origin story of Project Dream and Achieve It. You know what I'm saying, alhamdulillah, guys, I, I've accomplished so much and it's already, you know what I'm saying, it's like two o'clock, man, alhamdulillah. I've, I've I kicked my dunya and my dean's butt, man. And that's the whole point of this channel. So alhamdulillah, I got my buttock in my time. Number two was really unexpected, and that is, I had a sharper memory, meaning I started to recall more of my day, more of the days that had passed. I, my, I, I started having more retentive memory, and that was completely shocking. So I was like, man, that's amazing. And I believe that's also from the Quran and, you know what I'm saying, the, the <clears throat> sending salawat upon the, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the blessing, the barakah that comes from that, reading the hadith of the, you know, the the Rasul alayhi salatu it's amazing number three guys is you know throughout this challenge man i really like i was straining my eyes i was straining my eyes and uh it made me realize subhanallah what about the ulama of the past like bukhari that wrote the book or the ulama that came before him or after him that yani man they had maybe a candle to keep you know that there's stories of ulama who went blind you know what I'm saying, from the stress that they put on their eyes to compile the hadith, to compile, you know what I'm saying, the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So for me to complain in, you know, the type of lighting that I have in a comfortable home, I can crank the heat or the AC to any temperature that I want, be as comfortable as I want, for me to complain and have the stress that I did upon my eyes, what about the ulama of the past? Uh, number four, man, would be just realizing how much time I lost and good deeds. This made me realize how much time is, I've gone to waste, you know what I'm saying? And making me realize that, dude, I gotta step my game up, man. I gotta set more good deeds forth, man. Cause inshallah, guys, when that when we have to cross that sirat, yani, I'm trying to get there, you know what I'm saying? As quick as possible, inshallah. I'm not trying to get, I'm not trying to get hooked up, man, if you know what I'm saying. I'm trying to get over as quick as possible. And, uh, you know, so this made me realize just how far behind I probably am. And uh, number five, man, is just, alhamdulillah, just realizing the, the nitma of um, the, the preservation of our deen. You know, everything that we do, every single action that a Muslim do, does, inshallah, like, according to the deen, we have delil for. You know what I'm saying? We can show you in this kitab, in this kitab, in all of these kitabs, from the Quran, from the Fahim of the Salaf and the Sahaba, you know what I'm saying? We have preservation of our deen. So that being said, guys, that is the 30-day challenge. If I were to do it again, I would definitely want to get a book like Fethul Bari 
um, by Ibn Hajj al Asqalani of Rimhullah Ta'ala. I would definitely want to have a book like that um, to help me understand the hadith better. You know what I'm saying? How I can actually implement them in 2020, in 2021, in America as a Muslim revert, as a Muslim minority, you know what I'm saying? And actually understanding how I can implement these hadith and just have a, a, a greater grasp and understanding of the hadith. So that would be my only recommendation if you're able to do that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, supplement it with like Fethul Bari or something like that. Wallahualam. <clears throat> but I definitely recommend the challenge, guys. I think it's an incredible challenge. It's the hardest thing I've done in a long time. And with that being said, guys, your boy's freezing. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to drop your boy a like down below because it truly does help the channel. Guys, if you're going to do this challenge, be sure to tag your boy on Instagram at Project Dream to Achieve It in your Instagram short stories. You know what I'm saying? If you uh, complete the challenge or if you have any additional benefits that uh, you you realize or any for why Ed, man, share it with your boy. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit that notifications bell because your boy's freezing. And because I drop like two new videos every single week, every Monday and every Thursday. And I do live streams Saturdays at 9 a.m. And I do 4 a.m. workout live streams. You know what I'm saying? Your boy's cranking out content. So subscribe. And that being said, guys, Jazakal Khairan Balku Fikam as always. Stop worrying about yesterday and stop worrying about tomorrow. Make today great. And I'll see you in that next one.